Let the games begin. In three, two. Welcome to the Portal 2 Cast, a video series teaching level design in the Portal 2 Puzzle Maker. Last week, we examined the various uses for lighting. Today, I want to show you something very cool and a little more complex. Let's talk about timers. Basic timers are easy. Connect the pedestal button to an output. Timers are a great way to add tension What if you want a timer that switches back and forth between two states at regular intervals? An oscillating timer. You can't really use a pedestal timer for this because the player determines how long to leave the off state between attempts. To achieve this steady back and forth, we need to combine two of Aperture's most versatile components, the tractor beam and the cube dropper. Place the cube to fall directly in the path of the tractor beam. Set your first cube dropper here to auto drop first cube and the tractor beam to start enabled, both of which are the default states when dragged from the pallet. Next, you're gonna add a weighted button which goes at the end of your tractor beam and a second cube dropper, this time set not to auto drop the first cube Instead, the button at the end of your excursion funnel will drop the second cube. Then you're going to add a second excursion funnel. Make sure it lines up with your second cube. And then a second weighted button at the end of your second funnel that outputs to the first cube dropper, which will respawn that cube when the second button is hit. And here is what the entire thing looks like once you've put it together. Now you can connect one of the buttons to a single output and it will power on and off at regular intervals. Or you can connect each button to a different output. To change the length of the interval, change the length the cube has to travel before it connects with the button. The practical applications of this tool in puzzle making, I leave to your imagination. It's probably best incorporated in a puzzle where part of the puzzle must be solved in one state and a different part of the puzzle must be solved in a different state. But I'm curious, what have you come up with? Post your puzzles in the comments, let our viewers have a look at them. Also post what else you might have done with timers or oscillating timers. Thanks for watching. More Portal 2 lessons coming next Wednesday.